The casket of Rosalind Carter, surrounded by loved ones and a farewell tribute to the former First Lady. After lying in repose at the Carter Center in Atlanta, her casket led in a ceremonious procession to Glen Memorial Methodist Church at Emory University for this memorial service. What a remarkable woman she was. Yet what I remember most about her was her tireless dedication to taking care of others. Her husband, former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, 99 years old, leaving home hospice care, traveling with a doctor by his side to honor her. The two were married for 77 years. Her family remembering her as a loving, selfless woman who lived a life of faith and service, dedicated to her family and the causes she was most passionate about, including equal rights for women and mental health. But if you imagine just how far our society has come in the last five years on issues of mental health, and you think that she decided in 1970 to tackle the ancient stigma associated with mental illness. It is remarkable how far she could see. President Biden and Dr. Jill Biden in attendance, along with all the former first ladies. Every one of these first ladies owes something to her for her trailblazing. She was very devoted to being something more uh, than just uh, an arm partner to the president. Imagine all the people some of her favorite music performed by artists she loved, like Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood. Tomorrow, there will be a private funeral in the Carter's hometown of Plains, Georgia. Alex Brashe, ABC News, Atlanta.